Smile is a double rainbow symbolic bracelet, but it is also a project for global citizenship and world peace. We have just left a fantastic ceremony for World Peace Day in conjunction with One World, One Choir. Hello, Pam. Would you like to tell us more about oh, it? Oh, Shomai. Shomai, Pam. And Kroiso i Mala Hedo Hangamai. Yes. That's Welsh for Welcome to the Peace Mother. Mala, yes, to the centre in our Peace Garden. Well, we have just returned from St. Joseph's Cathedral in Swansea, which is the Catholic um, Cathedral of the Diocese of Menevia, which is a huge chunk of Wales. And Bishop Tom Burns um, has been with us. It has been astonishing. We've had the cathedral just about full of pupils from different schools in the area. Some came from Llanelfi. Some came from Neath Port Talbot, others closer to the city of Swansea. The singing has been to die for. The messages of peace for the world have been wonderful. And on top of it, I'm absolutely blown away. I'm, I'm now beginning to breathe this incredible... Um, Bishop Tom presented this to me at the end of the ceremony, and it is from... Pope Francis, uh, what can you say? That's fantastic. Pam. It's an amazing. Congratulations. Thing. So it's um, His Holiness Pope Francis presents his good wishes to Pam Evans, that's me, and to all those persons involved in Peace Mala, and imparts to them the requested apostolic blessing upon their work for world peace and. Encourages them with his prayers. So that's come from His Holiness Pope Francis. That is so that fantastic. is an amazing, um, incredible endorsement of the Peace Mala project that yeah. works with schools, mainly with schools, but not exclusively. Yeah. And I think it's wonderful as well that these interfaith services are bringing together people from wide, diverse, mm. cultural, spiritual absolutely, backgrounds. Absolutely, that is what we're working on. And it's what the world needs. Archbishop Rowan, who was a patron of Peace Mala for five years, when we did the Gower pilgrimage here, he wrote a beautiful message of encouragement and he said, one faith cannot possibly achieve world peace on its own. We need to work together. So we bring in our friends from the Jewish community, the Muslim, the Buddhist, everybody. And of course, on the Peace Mala, we've got 14 spiritual traditions there. Wonderful. Working together for world peace. The project is totally inclusive. We embrace everyone. Mm. And, and the, the heart center of it is the golden rule. Treat the next person as you wish to be treated yourself. And of course, it's about compassion. Yeah. And it is only with compassion for each other that anything is going to be helped, yeah. sorted in this world. Bishop Tom this morning too, he mentioned the incredible power of prayer and positive thought. So it's what we send out from ourselves to each other has huge energy and impact. Yeah. Absolutely. And can I just say how fantastic it's been for me. It's been a really profound experience at each one of the events now that I've attended with Peace Mala. Bringing together such a wide variety of spiritual traditions who actually celebrate their differences mm -hmm. and learn and grow and evolve with each other. Absolutely. You know, that's for adults and children. Mm -hmm. I think the potential with Peace Mala is evident, growing, and substantial. I hope so. Well, it's our 15th year, 
And as you know, I started the project in the aftermath of 9-11, when teenagers in the school I was teaching in were uh, subjected to the most horrendous bullying because they were Muslim or mm. black or Sikh or Orient, you know, Chinese children had it as well. Anyone who wasn't white and on it spiraled, it was absolutely appalling. Mm. So the idea came to me three months later and the heart center of the message, I thought, children and adults need to realize that every spiritual path on the planet shares the golden rule. Yeah. Treat the next person as you wish to be treated yourself. So that's what we work on. There's a lot more to the project than that, mm. but that's the heart center of it. Absolutely. So it's mutual respect and compassion. Absolutely. Thank you, Pam. Well, it's been Pleasure. wonderful to see you again. Wonderful and to have you with us, Lee, and thank you for coming all the way from London to be with us at St. Joseph's Cathedral, Swansea, for our service for world peace this morning. It's a pleasure, and it's I look forward. It's lovely to hear you playing the cathedral organ. <laughs> yes, I enjoy it very much. Thank it you, Pam. <laughs> thank you. Bye for now. The idea came to me about three months afterwards, and it focused on the golden rule. Treat the next person.